is not the time for you to think about the past. Of all of the places in your life, which are your favorites? Have you ever considered what makes a place your favorite? Is it the way the space is arranged? Or is it the furnishings? Or is it simply the people who are there? Or is it the pleasing colors and lighting? Is it the sense of freedom the place inspires, the sense of security, the sense of well-being, or is it something entirely different? What makes the space a successful place, a destination? In the fall of 2008, a class focused on the social use of space is considering these matters in the context of a new learning space on the Agnes Scott campus. In 2003, Bullock Science Center opened as a state-of-the-art facility with the most modern equipment and interior design. It has received universal praise from students and professors. Near the Bullock Center, the former science building, Campbell Hall, remains. Since the opening of the Bullock Center, it has been vacant and without a purpose. This is what Campbell looks like now. It's been gutted in preparation for renovation and reopening as a multi-use facility in 2012. One of these purposes is a learning space. Now this isn't how it's always looked. The Campbell Science Center was named for John Bulow Campbell. He was born in 1870. He was a self-made man spending boyhood days sweeping the floor of a local jewelry firm for five dollars a month. Ultimately, he became a successful businessman and his affiliation with the Presbyterian Church attracted him to Agnes Scott College where he became a trustee and a generous benefactor. At his death in 1940, Mr. Campbell had already established a foundation at Agnes Scott. In his will, he stated his desire that his contribution go toward building construction and maintenance. In 1951, the Campbell Science Hall opened with floors dedicated to biology, chemistry, and physics. It was furnished with the latest lab equipment and made of the sturdiest materials to reduce maintenance costs in the future. By the 1980s, Campbell was in need of renovation and modernization. In 1982, it was renovated with state-of-the-art computer systems, equipment, a new ventilation system and corrosion-free plumbing. As the 21st century approached and the pace of technology increased, Campbell was once again in need of renovation. This time it was determined that a new science building would be the better option and Bullock Center was built. Though plans are not finalized, a significant portion of Campbell will become a learning space.